gonna go ahead and we're gonna work on the foot bed of these shoes. As you can see, she's probably had these for like six months, not, probably not even a year, just based off of the, the, the uppers. Um, either that or she's very careful with them. But you can see her footprint is in there. And all that is, the only reason your footprint is there is because of the oils on your feet and the sweat and the friction. So when all of these things come together, that's when it smooths out and darkens. So basically all we're gonna do is we're just gonna remove all of that surface dirt. So because these are not my shoes, these are somebody else's shoes, I'm going to go ahead and glove up and we're gonna clean up the footbed of her shoes. Um, just so that you know, if ever you send your shoes in for cleaning with us, we don't clean the footbed. And the reason why we don't clean the footbed is for sanitary purposes. We've had shoes that have been sent in to us that smell like urine, um, I, we've had some that have had blood on them. So just as sanitary reasons, we don't typically do this. So this is me showing you how to do this and keeping myself safe at the same time by using the gloves. Her shoes were not an example of what I just said, um, but these are, these are well-worn shoes. And so all that we are doing right now is we're just removing the surface dirt from the footbed. Um, and it's gonna, so it's gonna make them kind of feel a little bit rough again, and they're not gonna be smooth. But as soon as you start wearing them again within like the next week, um, that footprint will have shown up again. But it, it, because you removed all that surface dirt, they may be um, less funky in the odor area. Now the heel cup is the area where it's gonna be a little bit trickier to get into. So um, sandpaper is great. You can wrap your finger with it and get in there. Um, it's just gonna be the most difficult area to get into just because of the contours of the, um, of the footbed. Um, but just making sure that you get in there so that way you've got a, you've got a clean slate um, to start walking in the next day, which is awesome. Um, but just have patience, you've got this. And now I'm just going through with the suede brush to just, again, bring up some of the nap. I'm also getting out a lot of the dust that I just pulled up with the sandpaper. Also by going over the entire footbed with that brush, it also helps to smooth out any of those striations because some of those areas you're only able really to work in one direction, especially on the sides of the of the footbed. All right, so now that we have the footbed cleaner, I just wanna show you before and after. So again, your shoe will eventually look like this again as soon as you start wearing it, but at least you know that you're walking in a clean shoe.